Let's dive into this example here. So here we have 4x to the fourth, y to the negative fourth, all being raised to the third. Now, if you noticed, I didn't say 4x all to the fourth because that four is to the first power. Only the x is being raised to the fourth there. You guys need to let go of this thought that this four is attached, unless it's in parentheses, it isn't. And the three will multiply by this four, but the three does not multiply to this four. Also stop calling when you put that three inside, stop calling it distribution. It's not. Anyway, <laughs> what are we gonna do here? Well, the four inside is originally to the first power. And when we are doing a power of a power, and for a further explanation on power of a power, definitely wanna go back and look at the video for, um, what number was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think number nine, because I do a big explanation there for number nine. Um, it was y to the fourth in parentheses to the third. But we're gonna multiply that one by three. So what does that become in the next line? Four to the third. And should you have that memorized? Yeah, you should. And what is four to the third? 64. So, so far, that is where we're at. Carrying on, x to the fourth times three, which is x to the twelfth, then that's a positive exponent, so it's pretty happy where it is. Then, y to the negative four times three, which is y to the negative 12 and we don't want that in a numerator or we don't want a negative exponent in our answer so we're going to relocate it's going to go down to the denominator and now the power becomes positive remember when you do this this type of move right that it's only the exponents that change from positive to negative in this transaction if 64 were negative and for some reason you needed to move it, maybe it was being raised to a negative power, the negative in front of the 64 is not affected. So keep that in mind. Another way to write this answer could also be, just to kind of toss that in there because I think people get a little weird with that, but it's 64 and it could be in front like that, like times, and then it could be x to the 12th over y to the 12th. Of course, we could implement parentheses again and just put x over y all to the 12th. I mean, that's just another way to write the same answer. You sometimes see these like questions with Roman numerals and they're like, which of the following is equivalent or it could be the answer. And it's like Roman numeral one, Roman numeral two, Roman numeral three, and you have to pick one and two, one and three, all of the above, none of the above. So. Be a little fluid in your thinking and, and um, ability to interpret answers that may be equivalent to what you found, but may be presented differently in a sort of multiple choice scenario, okay? So to see number 36, just click through on the box on the screen or to jump over to that playlist, maybe look at that power of a power video again. Um, look at the playlist thumbnail as well. Have a nice time with the next example. Bye.